Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be watching. We're going to look at VLOOKUP using absolute cell references. And the reason that we need to do this is to have Excel always refer to certain cells when I want it to look up information. So the problem I have here, I want to type an ID number in this cell and then have VLOOKUP automatically complete the information in these cells by getting the information from this data here. So what do we do? Well first of all we need to click in the cell in which we want the formula and we'll type equal VLOOKUP open a bracket and I'm going to say look up the information in that cell and then use the information in those cells and in this case I want to look up the name well the name is in the second column in the data so I type a 2 and because the information is not in alphabetical uh, order uh, in ascending order I should say I'll type the word false which stops at the first exact match now when I press enter I'll type a an ID in here will say 1 and it shows me Tom no problem at all but then if I auto fill that formula across there I see that I am not bringing in the information from these cells so what I have to do is this I'll click the undo button there and we'll look at the formula here and I see it's looking in D14 not a problem it's looking in those areas there but what I need to do is to always have Excel look in those cells so I click in the middle of D14 and I'll press F4 which makes that cell absolute I'll do the same here with B6 F4 and the same with F10 which is fine now what I can do is press enter there is Tom and I will now auto fill across but I always see the name well I don't always want to see the name because the name is in in the second uh, column so what I need to do is for the age to show I need to say to Excel in the formula look in column 3 and sure enough it does exactly what I want it to do the same in this particular cell here I want it to look in column 4 no problem when I press enter and finally this one here I want it to look in column 5 because the salary is in the fifth column in the data of course so column 5 no worries so there I see that my uh, information is coming out correctly let's say I want to look at Harry so I'll click in this cell type 4 because that's his ID and Harry's information comes in automatically for me so that's how I use absolute cell references with uh, Excel in VLOOKUP uh, it's very handy to know because um, it's used often in HR departments particularly where somebody rings up and says uh, uh, what's my phone number what's my salary etc etc so at the uh, simple entry of of a number here um, the ID perhaps uh, Mary rings up um, and we know Mary is 56 years of age that's her phone extension and that's her salary hopefully you found this handy uh, would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already and uh, thank you so much for watching see you next time